Welcome to Contextual Electronics. We're back with the Not a Camera add-on and doing a little bit of a PCB course here. Today we're going to be going over the PCB files that we created and were sent out for fab in order to make this board. So if you don't know, if you go and watch the last video, which will be linked down below, uh, this is a, a board that we're building and you can go and buy this kit if you're interested as well and build up this uh, blinker here. Uh, and now we're going to go and take a look at what files actually were sent, were sent out to the fab in order to make this board. So you can go and take these files if you want to, and you could send them out to the fab as well. So let's take a look here. So if you don't know, uh, there, all of the files that we're doing in this workshop can be uh, downloaded as a set of zip files here. So if you click this link, it'll download a zip file like that. And then you unzip them. And then basically, there's a bunch of project folders within there that are the various stages of what we're going to be going over here. So let's go and open the first one. So we're going to go to Open Project. We're in the, uh, this, this is the folders that I downloaded here. And we're starting with number one here. So we're taking a look at the finished PCB files, All right? We're gonna go into the hardware folder and we're gonna open up this uh, set of files here. So now what we're gonna do is take a look at the layout. We open up the PCB editor. Mm -hmm. Eventually, there we go. Okay, wrong window, there we go. All right, so, um, this looks like it's unfinished, but it's actually because it is not all visible. So we're going to turn on all the other layers here. Front mask. And we're going to turn on, looks like the back footprints aren't on as well. OK. And so basically, these, uh, this is the finished set of, uh, this is the finished thing that was actually sent out to the fab here. We can see that there's components uh, mostly on the back side. There is one component on the front side. And then there's a bunch of artwork here that is uh, uh, visible as well. We're going to select, we can also see, it's a little bit hard to see, but you may, let me just go back to, oh, drop my PCB here. Um, if you take a look at the PCB itself, um, on this on this thing here, oh, bit, on this thing here, uh, you see there actually is another, so the black here is actually solder, uh, solder mask layer that's over top of there, so there's actually some of it missing. So if we go back to the layout here, we can look at, if we look at the front mask layer, this is actually the entire, this is everything that's available here. And so we see that this is, this is what's actually showing the, what's in red here is actually black, and what's in pink here is actually exposed, uh, exposed copper. So uh, let's take a look at this in 3D view. Now what I will say about this, we have the edge cuts layer on here, and you can see it as a thin yellow outline here. But uh, this is an untra untra unconventional way of doing an outline. This is a, you know, so basically I imported this outline as a, a shape, and I did not trace it. I, I could go back through and I could trace it all, but I actually imported it as a shape, and in doing so, uh, it's a polygon, and it's not a supported feature here as part of uh, KiCad 5.0 or 4.0 even. And so the board houses can deal with this, but the, the program itself has a little bit of trouble when it's trying to render the 3D view. So let's take a look at what this looks like here. So. You missed the message here, but it actually had trouble rendering the board outline. So that's why I actually I drew the you can see the the ground plane outline out here. This is actually defining the outside layer of this board, but we can obviously see where there is an outline here. And the out the edge cuts outline is on is in the design file. It's just the 3D render is having trouble with it. We'll take a look at the Gerber files in a second here and see what we actually sent out to the fab. So this is what it looks like in 3D. We can see Again, it's kind of, you can have to imagine uh, the edge cuts layer here. So all this darker green would be cut out. The lighter green is actually what we're sending out to the fab there. And so let's go and take a look at what that actually looks like as well. So if we go back to the Gerber viewer here, <clears throat> I'm going to close my 3D view because I think that takes up some bandwidth sometimes. There we go. Uh, there's the Gerber viewer. And we're going to go and open a file, a set of files here. We're going to go into, oh, that was the one I wanted, sorry. Finish PCBs, not a camera, hardware, Gerber V1. And what we're going to do is cl click and select all of these. OK. And then we also want to import the drill files. So this is the .drl. And now all this stuff is in here. So now we have all of the files that are getting sent off to the fab. Let's start with the thing that I mentioned first, which is the edge cuts layer. If we turn off, we, we just isolate this one layer. So we say hide all layers but active. 
So now this is actually what's getting sent off to the fab. We see that it is a closed shape, which is important. And this is actually what's going to be sent to a board house. And as long as it's a closed shape, they should have no, no troubles with it. Uh, it is a little bit of an unconventional shape, and that's part of the reason why uh, the 3D renderer had problem there. So this is the outline layer. Now let's go and turn on a different layer here. So this is the backside copper. So we see the cutouts for all of the components that are uh, on the backside here. So this is the power line that is going, uh, this is power going to a capacitor and a resistor. And then this is a 555 timer. And then the, the uh, ground is connected to this pore that happens all the way around here. So it's being the pore is being used for uh, this pin here, and then this pin here, and this pin here. And so that's our ground connection. And then there's a bunch of other smaller connections here for, uh, for the resistors and capacitors they use for timing. OK, so now let's look at the backside solder mask. So if we select this one, we should be able to see it over top of that. So now this is what's going to be exposed on the copper on the back. This is the exposed copper on the back side of this PCB. Now this is the silk screen that's on the back side, and this is just the uh, the labels that are on there. So these are reference designators, which we've gone over in past videos. They're shown mirrored here because this is the back side. Um, and uh, like I said, this is also the uh, the silk screen for links to this course that we're talking about right now. Edge cuts we just went over. Now let's look at the front side copper. So let's turn off everything but edge cuts. How about that? And let's turn on front side copper. So now this is the front side copper here. We see the, the LED. We see the uh, plug-in pins here. And then we see the, the stuff that's going to end up being exposed here. So this is the, uh, the text that is in gold and the, the lens. Then we're going to have the solder mask over top of it. This is what we just showed you there. So if we select that, we see there's going to be black over top of the copper, which is blue. And then this is also exposed as well. So, and then this is just exposed, uh, exposed FR4 here. Finally, silk screen on the top side. There's not much silk screen, but there is basically kind of giving it a dynamic look here. This is just uh, a white in order to give it uh, a kind of that 3D view. And then finally, the drill file here. This is the drill. And we see there's only uh, six drills total. There's two vias here, and then four of these through hole components here. What we would do normally is we would then go and either zip this up or uh, or so some of the some of the uh, PCB manufacturers, we could actually just upload it, upload the KiCad files directly. We actually wouldn't need to make the Gerber files. So um, board houses like Oshpark allow you to do that kind of thing. You actually don't need to make Gerber files and plot them. But uh, in the, a lot of the lower cost PCB houses, you need to make Gerbers like we showed here, and then you need to uh, zip them up and upload them to their, their file service. Uh, if we take one quick look back over at the layout here, we can actually see how we do that. So in order to make those Gerbers we just showed, we would go here. We would go uh, export the front top uh, copper, the back and front and back copper, the front and back silk, the front and back mask, and then the edge cuts, edge cuts layer. Um, we, wanna, uh, we would not want to plot the values. We would want to plot the references. And then we want to exclude the PCB edge from all of the layers. Hit plot, and that'll happen in that same folder we're in. And then the same thing here, uh, usually I combine the, the through hole and the, the non-plated through hole in a single file. That just makes it a little bit simpler. And then finally, all the other the uh, default things are usually OK as well, uh, usually decimal format um, is good as well. OK, so um, that's, <coughs> that's how we generated those files there. This is actually what gets sent off to the PCB house. In, uh, and then that would make a board like this. So, so like I said, this is the board that we're going to be sending or working on. Hopefully, you've already, if you've uh, decided to to buy the kit, you've already seen this happen here. Uh, you've already got this in hand, and maybe you've already soldered it. So, all the components are on the back side here, um, and on the front side, there's the blinking LED as well. We're gonna in the next video, we're gonna be going over how to actually do the layout itself. So, it's basically hooking the connect the connections together. We'll have all of the all of the parts in place, but we won't actually uh, have the connections there. And then we'll be able to uh, see how to, how to make an actual PCB happen and actually connect things together. So if you've never done a PCB before, this is a great starting place because kind of everything's in place. Let's kind of connect the dots uh, in the next video here. If you have questions about any of this stuff, you can go over to the Contextual Electronics Forum. That's forum.contextualelectronics.com. All of these files and everything else you've seen here today is hosted over on contextualelectronics.com. And there's also other, for, other courses there where we go over how to design uh, custom electronics like we're showing here. And uh, if you have any questions about KiCad, you can always go to the KiCad forum. That's forum.kiCad.info. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.